myself dr lata junior resident department of radio diagnosis in dr dy patel medical college my topic for paper presentation is evaluation of nigrosum 1 in a clinically suspected cases of parkinsons on 3 tesla mri under the guidance of dr rajesh kubel professor and dr uh, nerila krishna teja assistant professor the aim is to assess the imaging features of nigrosum 1 in the substantia nigra through 3d weighted uh, susceptibility weighted imaging and its disease specific changes for diagnosis of uh, parkinson's disease coming to the introduction substantia nigra is a gray mass that lies in the cerebral peduncle between the crust cerebri and tegmentum of the midbrain at the level of superior colliculi it has two parts superficial zona reticulata and uh, deep parts zona compacta Coming to the nigrosome, uh, it's a small cluster of dopaminergic cells within the substantia nigra that exhibit uh, calibdinum D28K negativity on histochemistry, immunohistochemistry. Five nigrosomes measures uh, up to five mm in size and have been described with the largest labeled as nigrosome one. It is located in the posterior third of the substantia nigra. returns a high signal on the high resolution t2 star or swi in a linear coma or wedge shape it is surrounded by low swi uh, signal intensity anterior and laterally pars compacta and medially by a low signal from the medial lemniscus which resemble the distinctive splint tail of uh, split tail of a, swa a swallow and hence it referred as a swallow tail appearance Nigrosome one contains the largest proportion of neurons affected in Parkinson's disease, a condition that causes the high SWI signal within the nigrosome one to be absent. Absence of a normal swallow tail appearance of a nigrosome one is reported to be a reliable sign of Parkinson's disease. There are two main uh, possible mechanisms for this. One is increased iron content or uh, decreased neuromelanin content. with decreased iron storage capability leading to more free iron with paramagnetic properties iron in the brain mainly as ferritin accumulates mainly as ferritin in the oligodendrocytes but it can also be found in the neurons and microglia as shown in the postmortem images with higher concentration in the globus pallidus substantia nigra red nucleus caudate and putamen In Parkinson's, the substantia nigra iron content is increased, as demonstrated by the several uh, post-mortem studies, with high iron levels in the individual neuromelanin granules of the new, uh, nigral neurons. Coming to the anatomy, here is a axial uh, section of the mid, uh, axial midbrain section showing which red nucleus, which is indicated by one and two being the tectal part of the midbrain, and three is the aqueduct, and four is the periaqueductal gray matter. Five is the medial lemniscus, and six is the nigrosomes. Seven is the uh, substantia nigra. Here is an image showing the red rump swallow. The tail of the red rump swallow resembles the appearance of healthy nigrosome on the susceptibility weighted imaging of MRI. but the loss of this functional nigral neurons early in the course of disease results in the general decrease in number of neuromelanin granules with iron being sequestrated in the leafy bodies in substantia nigra pars compacta neurons and with an increased loading of ferritin with iron mr advanced sequences in high field magnets open the possibility to visualize in vivo the substantia nigra and to investigate the specific pathological changes enabling the development of high accuracy tools for uh, disease diagnosis in early stage our work was centered on the application of mr imaging technique to study the substantia nigra in parkinson's disease early in the disease course mainly focusing on untreated patients at the time of clinical diagnosis here we investigated the feasibility of uh, nigrosome one detection using 3d susceptibility weighted mri and the diagnostic accuracy that can be achieved for diagnosing parkinson's in a clinical uh, population coming to the materials and methods place of study is dr d y patel medical college and hospital pimpri pune type of study is a observational study of to over the period of sept, uh, two years from september 2019 to august 2021 and method of diagnosis is mri uh, mri 3 in a 3 tesla 
coming to the image inclusion criteria patients with clinical suspicion of parkinson's disease and the exclusion being criteria being uh, claustrophobic metallic foreign body in situ patients less than the age of 30 years coming to the imaging protocol study uh, subjects were evaluated on three tesla vida mri scanner with susceptibility weighted imaging focused on brain stem with factors uh, te being 24.9 and TR being 36.4, flip angle is 10 degrees, slice thickness is 1.4 mm, uh, bandwidth is 62 to 5, acquisition time being 5 minutes 40 seconds. Informed consent and written consent was obtained from all the patients included in the study. Coming to the imaging uh, analysis, presence of a swallow tail or nigrosome 1 was uh, rated for each hemimegalencephalon hemimesencephalon at the level of uh, caudal posterior substantia nigra on axial images. Nigrosome 1 scores were allotted based on the presence or absence. Because of the asymmetrical onset of the Parkinson's, unilateral absence of nigrosome 1 was classified as an indicative of Parkinson's irrespective of the presence of absence of nigrosome 1 on either side. Uh, the width of the radial line at its widest point of the droplet is taken as point uh, as A and in corresponding middle layer width of substantia nigra is taken as B and the ratio of A and B were taken in controls and the thin banded high signal intensity at the widest point is taken as uh, C and in corresponding layer of middle width of substantia nigra was uh, taken as B and its ratio was taken B by C in cases or in control in cases. Coming to the statistical analysis, done using uh, chi-square test, measurable data A, B, C were presented by mean and standard deviation and the p-value is less than 0 0.05 was considered statistically uh, significant. And coming to the results, the Signals of nigrosome 1 were strong, droplet uh, or oval were found in 26 patients from NPD group on both sides of the substantia nigra and unilaterally in two cases and invisible in both the sides in two cases. In contrast, these signals were absent in 29 clinically suspected cases and one case with a typically uh, typical hyperintensity were clinically proven to be Parkinson's plus syndrome. The results were 0 0.001. The result is statistically significant if the p-value is 0 0.005. Uh, coming to the images, here is a 49 years old female patient control uh, axial SWI image showing high signal nigrosomes in the substantia nigra which is indicated with the blue arrows. Here is a same age group clinically suspected uh, Parkinson's patient showing absence of high signal in the sub, uh, substantia nigra on either sides. Here is an MR in axial image of the SWI sequence showing a 70 years old male who is a control. Uh, axial image showing high signal uh, nigrosome 1 in the substantia nigra in the left side indicated with a green arrow in a clinically suspected case with corresponding age uh, shows absence of high signal in the substantia nigra on either sides. Coming to the age distribution, here is a pie diagram of the age distribution showing various age groups predominantly involving uh, 50 to 60 years age group and here is a bar diagram showing sex distribution which is predominantly involving the male uh, sex. Coming to the analysis of nigrosome 1, here is a tabular column for the analysis of nigrosome 1 with the cases and control in which one case uh, showed unilateral uh, bilateral visible nigrosome uh, signal and the 26 control had unilateral and bilateral visible uh, nigrosome signal coming to the and 29 cases show had absent uh, nigrosome signal in the unilateral and bilateral uh, uh, sites coming to the control four had four con four controls had uh, absent unilateral bilateral uh, nigrosome one signal Sensitivity being 87.8%, specificity is 96.3%. Coming to the accuracy, it is 91.6%.
coming to the substantia nigra thickness uh, here's a tabular form showing uh, thickness of the substantia nigra so the age group of 30 to 50 years the cases of 30 to 50 years had increased uh, substantia nigra thickness whereas 50 to 70 and 70 to 90 uh, years age group had the thickness of substantia nigra was equal almost equal in the cases as well as control coming to the discussion parkinson's is a common neurodegenerative disorder among middle age uh, resulting from degenera degeneration of dopaminergic uh, neurons in the substantia nigra of midbrain mr susceptibility weighted technique uses the information of magnetic susceptibility differences between uh, region generate image contrast combining both magnitude and phase information and although not allowing the quantification is very sensitive to all uh, alterations included by the presence of paramagnetic substance such as iron other study showed several important findings on the axial SW image uh, magnitude imaging the substantia nigra parse compact of other of those non parkinsons uh, corresponds to the feature high signal uh, in the nigrosomes one which is most likely droplets the average width at its widest point of the oval high signal is about 1.5 plus or minus uh, 0.54 mm and its average ratio with its uh, width in the middle of the substantia nigra in the corresponding layer is about 0.31 plus or minus 0.07 mm. The absence of high signal is used to evaluate the uh, sensitivity and specificity in the Parkinson's diagnosis which is 96.6% and around 86.67% respectively in our study. In our study, there is no difference in the thickness of substantia nigra in cases control and with age uh, progression. The absence of typical nigrosome 1 signal in uh, 3 Tesla MR susceptibility weighted image may be useful in identifying Parkinson's disease with uh, high sensitivity and specificity. These are the references. Thank you.